Hey guys, so in the last video, we rendered out a PNG image sequence using our sequencer, and now we're going to render it as a single MP4. And there's two ways that we're gonna do that, and the first way is using Adobe After Effects. So here's our image sequence, and I have Adobe After Effects open. I'm gonna double click right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my first image. I don't need to select all of them, just the first one. I'm gonna make sure I have PNG sequence checked off. And I'm also gonna make sure I have create composition checked off. I'm gonna go ahead and click import. And now we have all of our images as well as a composition. So we want to render this composition out. We can scrub through it right here. And to render this out, we go to composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Okay, great. I'm gonna go ahead and select my file. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm saving an H265. I'm not gonna be exporting any audio, so I'm gonna uncheck that. And then for output name, it's a good idea to select your output name because this is going to tell you where you're saving the file and I don't wanna be saving this here. And I'm gonna call this sequencer uh, YouTube, and I'll go ahead and click Save. And the rest of this looks good to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now this is all ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and render this out. Okay, now that that's done, I can go into that folder I had set up and I should have sequencer youtube.mp4. And now I have taken that image sequence and I have rendered a beautiful MP4 file. Great. So in the next video, we will look at how to do this using a command tool interface called FFmpeg.